Today we are giving you kind of a backstage look at a new nature series that Gary Metivier is starting and you sure can't have a nature show without dynamic up close video and photos of the animals, right? Well, that's where Jay Wolf comes in with a passion for wildlife photography who joins us here today and, and, and Gary's here too because these two are, are camouflaging each other here. Jay, it's good to meet you. Well, thanks for having me. Well, what a pleasure. So when we showed your camera on the air, you, you didn't mind us showing it, right? I didn't mind at all. You did. <laughs> How long have you been a, a nature photographer? Um, for about six years now. I've done it and... Just six? Exactly. Well, you've been a photographer longer than that though, right? Not like this. Um, this, this, it took a lot of time for me to get to the point to where I'm at now, mm -hmm. so. How did you uh, get hooked up with, with Gary? Let's bring Gary in here and talk I really, about that. I really think that it was with my father with, uh, out to Washington, D.C. Yeah, hmm. well, I was, I was following Jay's stuff because Jay, Jay was injured, had an injury, and photography sort of became his, his therapy, if you will, mm -hmm. and his work was so incredible. I would see it online. I think he followed me, I followed him. And then it turns out that we were, his father and I were on an honor flight together. Hmm. And that brought us together to meet. Wow. I'm like, man, your stuff is so cool. And he says, your stuff's so cool. I'm like, wow, what if we could bring this together? Yeah. You know, we have Ryan Bentham <laughs> shooting with us. We have Noah Richardson and I shoot too. And we're like, let's put all these elements together and kind of see what we come up with. Yeah, and now wildlife, this is your specialty, would you say? Oh, absolutely. Is, uh, let's show your camera. It kind of sure. blends right in with what you're, sure. so now you don't, is this specific for shooting uh, birds that are far away, other things that are, you know, across a river or something? You can, but believe it or not, I would still rather have them really close. Close is the key to great photography, and that's what I strive to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I would rather not get the picture than, than give up the chance to try to get really, really close. Well, we have a couple of, um, uh, of, of your photos here right next to me, the owl and the bears. Uh, can you tell us if those pictures were taken from far, far away? The grizzly bears came from uh, Yellowstone, Paula. Mm -hmm. I was out there this last fall, and that photo right there was at 125 yards, mm -hmm. and that was close enough. That's close enough for bears. Yes, yes. my okay. guide was standing behind me, Mm -hmm. and kept giving me yardages because yeah. when I'm looking through the camera, Paula, you can't I, tell. I forget what else yeah. is all going on. I'm so focused on the, getting the perfect shot. Mm -hmm. And at 125 yards, I said, that, that's it, no more. Well, now what about our snow owl here? Which, are, those, are they kind of rare? They are. They are ver they're very they rare. They come from the Arctic. It's amazing. Um, I've, I have photographed four snow owls in my life. You very rarely ever see them. I haven't seen one now for two years. That particular snow owl came from a find, uh, friend of mine, um, and Luke Bush uh, got a hold of me and had one in a field. Wh what, where? In Thompson, Illinois. Okay, great, right here. And he was 500 yards away from me, which is unacceptable. Yeah. You can't do anything there. And I actually walked up to within 30 yards of that owl. Is that right? Well, now you got, you guys have shot a couple of things together now, right? How many yeah. episodes together? Uh, we've well, I think we've shot about 15. We have five ready to go. Mm -hmm. But the one, the first one that you'll see at four o'clock once you click on, yeah. as Paula launches it, <laughs> is we we actually Jay showed me how to call in an owl so he could get a beautiful picture, right? So we so I challenged him. And that's part of what you'll see in the series a series of challenges to get a closer look at nature. So I challenge him, and I won't, don't tell, don't give away the ending. If he could call one into my backyard right here, you know, a couple miles from here, in town. Yeah, you, And you'll have to you? find out what happened. You'll have okay. to find out what so happened. He challenged He me. challenged <laughs> you. Talk about a challenge. Um, I, I watched this segment where you guys said it was actually dangerous to be out there. Yep. Just where you guys were outside and it was, it was below zero. It was cold. Yeah, it was cold. Um, when you, I, I want to give, um, I want to give folks who, who go out and try to just take photos of owls or birds in their backyard, or not just birds, but squirrels or rabbits or whatever, with their phones or whatever. Do you have any tips for them? Because everybody wants a, a picture of a deer. Oh, a deer came into my backyard. Do it often. Mm -hmm. Do it all the time. Uh, I self-taught myself, and I did it by going out every day from sun up to sundown with many mistakes. Mm -hmm. And you learn from that. And just 
do it a lot. Learn what you're shooting with. Okay. Know, know your lens, know your camera. And I still make many, I still have a delete button, Paula. Well, and sure, good. we all need that. And, and, we, and you need to get to know the animals and where they are and what their habits are, especially when it comes, we're looking at birds here. And uh, gosh, when you can get them you know, feeding and all of that. What was it like to, um, to do this stuff on camera, Jay? To, to, it was to work with Gary, and you know this is gonna be something that a lot of people will watch. It was nerve wracking. And mm -hmm. I thought I, I thought I looked silly. I thought I sounded silly. Mm -hmm. um, we all it, think that of each other. Or and, I mean, I mean, and that's, exact, that's exactly <laughs> what Gary said. It's true. And um, but it was so fun. And if anybody can make you feel at ease, and and learn from, it's right there. It's true. Yeah. You're, you're right about Gary yeah. when it comes to that. And see, now you get to share this with this passion that you have, because mm. a lot, all of us love wildlife, really. But we know we'll, we don't think we'll ever be close to it. But you, that's what you guys are doing through the Bass Wild series. Well, and as part of that, his grandkids are actually getting involved, too, because we're working on a series of books for children based on his photography and my storytelling to take oh, this to neat. a whole other level. And so his grandkids actually get to be yeah. the stars of oh, that. Oh, that's so, that's so gonna neat. Be fun. Yeah. You, these are the ones you're just telling me about. Oh, yeah. Yes. The, the, the guys always talk about his grandkids. And, I, <laughs> and he said he has cute grandkids. The cutest they're, in the world, I think. Uh, and then we all, oh, my then Lord. All of us who are grandparents say, well, not cuter than my grandkids, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any yet, but, so but that's a good thing. But they're part of it, right? <laughs> okay, so um, so you can look up Jay's stuff, and he's been taking some pictures here in the studio today, so he's going to post those too. I hope I'll have to check those out. But uh, but Jay will have wild photography, or you can just see everything that's going on with uh, with Gary's show here coming up soon. And Gary's about to show me something. I have no idea what this is, and you know I don't like surprises live on well, the air. Well, I know you TVA. don't. And, but don't worry, I'm not going to do GML. We're not going to take over the show. Okay, okay good. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, Came I from do. Way back. But Jay and I decided that we want to give you something uh, to, to commemorate us, and hopefully put somewhere on the set if you'd like to. Uh, but you said your favorite animal kind of was a rabbit. I but did. but we wanted something a little different that fit in the scheme of our season one. Oh, okay. So we wanted to give you. Uh, we want okay. to give you this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at you guys. Look, I've got a little Vance Wild Fox photo. You know what? I almost told you, Fox. Really? I almost did. And I thought, well, I don't, I've never really seen one up close. I have psychic powers, Paula. I knew I that. Really, but so I told, G Gary texted me, he said, what's your favorite wild animal? And I almost said fox, but I thought, but I've never really seen one. Well, I like <laughs> bunnies. So I wrote, I wrote rabbit. <laughs> and then this is my <laughs> rabbit picture. They're so sweet. Oh, these fox. What kind are they? Red fox. They are the red fox. Yep. And um, those are moments after they come out of the hole for the first that's time. That's wild. And we have I love it. Of that. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Jay, thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you. What a pleasure to meet you today. Likewise. So when we come back today, we're going to take our nature look into the water. The aquatic biologist, who's part of That's Wild, turns out it's his hobby and his job, and vice versa. Next on PSL. <laughs>